Somerset stumble late after even day. Robbie White and Nick Gubbins both hit 50s on the first day of play to take Middlesex's score to 308 for 6 at the close. A decent start against a tricky opposition who had caused them trouble at important intervals. Holman went early in the day, Craig Overton was bowling well and got his reward off stump sent cartwheeling by the Somerset quick. But that's as far as the session could get, persistent rain prevented them from returning to the field and an early lunch was taken. There was a wicket straight after lunch, White prodded at a well-directed Davy delivery and Hildreth grabbed the catch at first slip. And another, Stephen Finn didn't last long, trapped LBW and Davy had two in and over. Murtar then took a big swipe to edge over the slip cordon for four, bringing up the 350 in the process. But Davy had the last laugh, he took three wickets in the over, Murtar tried one big shot too many and sent a catch skywards. It was a decent first innings total from Middlesex, but Somerset never really let them get out of sight. Flurries of wickets at key intervals kept their visitors within touching distance. Somerset's start was disrupted by the weather, and Finn took advantage of the uncertainty, Lamanby only able to fend at a short ball, out for 13. Then their other opener was gone, Banton still not quite getting to grips with his new position in the lineup, out LBW to Murta for 3. Hildreth and Abel took stock and once again had to dig their side out of a bit of a hole, and they do so well. Finn fired through the offside to take the team to 50. They'd soon shared a 50 partnership, the captain and the stalwart showing patience and taking their side through to T, with the score 86 for 2. But for all their good work, they couldn't stop Murta. A good delivery from the Middlesex veteran saw Hildreth caught behind to the first ball after the break. Abel then fell for 41 to Finn catch clipped to mid-wicket, and Somerset struggling to find a foothold in the evening session. Bartlett and Goldsworthy ensured they'd reach three figures, the pair halting the Middlesex progress and looking to once again rebuild their team's innings. Rain kept them off for some time, only returning to the field after six o'clock, and when they did get back out there, the pair looked to drag their side towards 150, and maybe more, and they ticked past the figure with relative ease, and kept going. They'd finally stroll off in the dark, with the score 178 for 4. They were trailing Middlesex by 179, and the partnership had been an effective one, but it had more to do in the morning of day 3.